Neil Bailey here for Exposure International Photography Festival 2021 in Shasha. We're sitting here today with Mike Brown. He's an international photography trainer and he's here to tell us a bit about his experience at Exposure. Love being at Exposure. I'm privileged to be here for the second time. So massive thanks to the Sheikh and to all the organizers and the incredible hard work that goes into making this probably the most inspirational celebration of telling stories through photography. It's like walking around with continual goosebumps up the back of your neck, watching and looking at these, these incredible exhibitions, but also hearing the speakers, hearing these, these, these rock god photographers who have been in places most human beings cannot possibly imagine and telling their story. It's just non-stop buzz. It's like being plugged directly into the power charger. Fantastic. But, so you're here to do workshops, teach photography. You've had a lifetime of travel around the world, giving workshops, doing photography. And uh, you're sharing this with local people here in Shasha during the ex exhibition. Yeah, yeah, during exposure. So I'm, I'm running photography workshops. Mm -hmm. They're not aimed at the super advanced, the super high level photographer. They're aimed at the hobbyist. And the key message is that photography isn't made by the camera. It's made by the heart. It's made by the photographer. Mm -hmm. And we, we live in a world where we are bombarded by an international marketing machine saying, buy this gadget, buy this thing. Mm -hmm. And the photographer is often overlooked in favor of that gadget. Mm -hmm. And it's just helping them understand that a handful of controls is all you need. The awesome photographers pre-1980s, they had maybe three controls on their cameras. Their images are still making us moved and inspired today. So why are we worried now when we've got a gazillion controls in our camera? Now, I'm not saying those controls are bad. I'm not saying all those features are bad. They're useful. But it's the photographer who creates the picture. That's what I teach. You're coming to Shasha, you're coming to Exposure, you're being exposed to the greatest photographers in the world in probably one of the best exhibitions you're likely to see. I mean, I, we want to be moved yeah, by yeah, this. Totally. We, and it's important to be moved by it. I say to my students, don't look at the picture thinking what aperture did they use, wonder what the settings were. Mm. Get the message from the image and understand the story. The other thing I say to them is, don't look at, say, maybe one of the beautiful works of art photos which are on exhibition here and think, wow, I'm going to go to that place and take that picture. Because when you see a, a finished creation on the wall of photograph, you are seeing just the very tip of the very top of the iceberg. Mm. What you're not seeing is the work that photographer put into it. They didn't just go, that's nice, click. They researched, they probably visited many times. If it's a case of something social, they would have probably done an enormous amount of work generating contacts, getting to know people, getting to win the hearts and minds of the people in the photos. If it's photographing landscapes, it's where do I go, in what weather, in what light, at what time of year, and many visits back over and over again to find that pinnacle. So the message to the students is, don't be disheartened if you go there and your photo doesn't look like that mm. because you're not seeing all the work that went on below the water. You're only seeing the top of the ice cube in your drink. You're not seeing the bit that's below the surface. So you're bringing something to exposure. You're one of the components. You might think, okay, International Photography Festival, we're going to come, we're going to look at exhibits on the wall. But exposure is so much more than that. I mean, you're doing workshops the seminars, the portfolio reviews, and perhaps you'd like to break down some of the activities that are available for people, mm. you know, and how impressive this is. Mm. There are so many, you really covered the activities, mm. but it's like, what I would say is, if you can get to speak to these rock star photographers, when they are at their exhibitions, mm -hmm. as a visitor, do so, because the thing to remember is they're just human beings, mm -hmm like you, like me, like everybody else on this planet. Mm. And when you speak to these people, they can tell you what's happening in their heart as they're, as they're doing the photography, as they're taking these pictures, mm. and it enriches the experience unimaginably. And this is one of the wonderful things with exposure is because you can do that. Mm. Nobody has an ego, nobody has a flag to wave, nobody's gonna say, I'm too grand to talk to you. And many people, of course, look at these big names and go, oh, I'm only me. 
No, they're just people, and they're lovely people. But yeah, you, you have the, 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 the workshops, little group workshops, so there's time for everybody. Um, individual time, questions can be answered, and in my case, certainly questions are massively encouraged. Mm. Well, Mike Brown, international travel educator who's here teaching photography, he's been all over the world teaching photography. It's his second trip to Exposure to be with us here, and we just want to say thank you for coming out today. Thank you for inviting me, thank you for being here, thank you to The Shake and to everyone at Exposure for the fun that Exposure is as well. It's not all serious, there is a lot of fun and laughter and I would urge anybody on this planet, whether you're a photographer or not, to come. <laughs>